everyone and welcome it's been so long I feel like it's been forever but it's really been probably about 10 days since I was able to put out a video uh, my cousin's daughter got married in beautiful Portsmouth New Hampshire it was lovely so my sister and I and my dad flew back to um, Boston and then we drove down to New Hampshire and, and went to this amazing wedding it was like a beautiful beautiful garden wedding um, it was just lovely 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 so we enjoyed seeing relatives and I'll throw some pictures in here and it was uh, actually in the backyard of this farmhouse that I think was from the 1700s late 1700s and it was so cozy and charming and there were these big beautiful hydrangea bushes everywhere and it's just that every detail of this wedding was really spectacular so I really enjoyed myself but it didn't allow me any time to do videos because the minute I got back from the wedding guess what back out on a plane again we came home Sunday and I left Monday and I flew three legs oh my gosh I went from Chicago to Philadelphia Philadelphia to Denver and Denver to Spokane Washington so I had like a 12 and a half hour day um, but we had a nice 33 hour um, layover in Spokane and this beautiful five-star hotel that was so lovely Oh my gosh, the food was great, the layout of the hotel was great, the beds were comfortable, the whole thing was just really nice. I flew with a gal that I had never met before and we just headed off and kind of hung out a little bit by the pool and then we had a nice little dinner and they had this really cool, I had fish and chips, um, I kind of went off my low carb diet because they just looked too good, I had to have them. So they had these chips that were homemade, but the fish, instead of most fish and chips are made, um, are cod and these were, um, with trout like but it would almost look like salmon because the fish was a little pink but it was absolutely delicious and I did have one glass of red wine and you know um, if you saw my last video with my psoriatic arthritis I really try to watch what I eat and try not to eat too many foods that are inflam or inflammatory and I know that eating high fat food is inflammatory but I just had to have a little bit of those fish and chips the fish maybe will make up for it so here I am back um, I've been off for a couple days and for those of you who don't know, and I don't think I mentioned it in any of my last videos, but I am also, I am a blogger and I am a flight attendant. I am also an Avon representative and which is where I got this gorgeous necklace that I'm loving for Breast Cancer Awareness Month next month. And so I've been busy um, getting brochures out to people and blogging online and I will let you know when my blog is finished I'll give you a link I'm also just got done doing a newsletter for my teddybearspot.com which is my cozy home living uh, website which I so love because a cozy happy home is so important to me and I know it is probably to a lot of women but um, I've just been busy doing all of those things. So I haven't had a chance to talk to you. But one of the things I wanted to say, and I don't want to make this video too long today, I wanted to just talk about women power a little bit. And I was good, and I'm going to bring Avon into that because I use, there's so many wonderful products out there. So that's not why I'm making this video but I want to explain to people why I decided years ago to even start selling Avon and why it means something to me because it's a company that is so pro women and at this stage of my life to be able to make some extra money selling something and a product that I believe in gives me the power to maybe fly a little less because flying is really grueling on your body. It's tiring. So the experience of selling Avon has really, it's like, you know, boss life is what it is. It's like you're your own boss and making people feel good. Years ago, I owned a nail salon. I've been a makeup artist at the big department stores in New York. Uh, I have a beauty license and so my whole life before I became a flight attendant pretty much I worked in advertising and I worked in the beauty field and I worked in the beauty field as an advertising marketer as well but the one thing that I don't get in my job as a flight attendant that Avon does for me is I used to love helping women I used to love beauty the reason why is because my job it can be a little bit draining and people aren't always nice when they fly and everybody's stressed out so I still go into work with a with a smile on my face but what I miss 
And I have a couple other friends who worked in the beauty business, a couple hairdressers, people who worked in the beauty business who are now flight attendants. And one of the things that I think we all miss is I miss the positiveness of making somebody look or feel good. I miss, you know, how the the relationships that I used to have with women when I was either giving them a manicure or, you know, doing something for them. I mean, I have a full hairdresser's license, but I mainly was a manicurist and a facialist and makeup because that was, I just, that was my area. I loved that part of the beauty business. Avon is a company that's so pro-women. I mean, think about it. It's been around since the 1800s. It empowers women through breast cancer research. It empowers women by giving them a chance to earn a living without being dependent on a man. They give hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to women's shelters and battered women's causes. And it's so pro women. I know my mom, we talk about how like, and you're probably all too young, but the women in the 1940s and I mean, they didn't have, and the, even in the 50s, the opportunities back then that we have today. And I think Avon has been a big part of that revolution. And I am very pro any company that empowers women on that level. Plus the science and the research behind their products. They have their own, a lot of it's made in the United States, which I love. And they have, um, they have a big research and development part of their company that's in-house. And so, and I know this from years ago when I worked for Halston or Lawn in New York and we had an office in the same building that um, Avon did in New York City. Just people shop at my Avon store. They just, they find me or I give them a brochure or a card and they go on over there and they can shop my store. So you don't even have to like see your Avon lady or you know you could still support the cause and the people and the products because they're really wonderful and a matter of fact I have this I'm sending this out my mom is a huge skin so soft fan and I'm gonna tell you oh my gosh oh my gosh that smells so good so she's at my brother's right now but I have a whole skin so soft um, group package that I'm sending her when she goes back to Florida and um, she's gonna love that so and I also wanted to tell you share with you something else I'm crazy about I love the sea minerals moisture shampoo and this is just one of those OGX brands you know they have the keratin they have all different crazy kinds of shampoo and conditioner but this one smells like the ocean oh my gosh one whiff of this close your eyes and you're on the beach somewhere you're either it's not tropical it's just like ocean and algae and I don't know if any of you beauty junkies out there if you're any of you who love beauty the way I do in the 19 I'm gonna say 70s and 80s I'm gonna say 80s in the 1980s Revlon had a shampoo called marine marine something Revlon marine shampoo and it was blue and it had the shampoo and the conditioner Oh my gosh, and this smells just like that. It's really, really awesome. So as much as I love and I promote Avon, and I do because I love these products. I'm a huge devotee, but I love this shampoo and conditioner. And another shampoo that I remember from the 80s that I really loved was Hask Placenta Shampoo. When we all had those long, big hair of the 1980s, I can remember shampoo was a big, bigger deal then maybe I mean it's a big deal now but you had limited brands back then and you didn't have the internet and I can remember the shampoos I got excited about were like okay I loved um, gee your hair smells terrific and agree oh my gosh it smelled so good the Revlon marine shampoo the Hask placenta and of course herbal essence and Fabergé uh, milk and honey, you know, I told two friends and so on and so on. Was that, Fa I know it was Fabergé, but I can't think of the name of the, the shampoo. So anyway, um, this is just such a casual talk today. I hope it's okay because I just didn't have any, I usually like to try to teach you something or show you something, which I will, but today I'm just kind of chilling. And, um, that's too funny. Oh, and I wanted to share with you, it was my birthday last week. I turned 54. Oh my gosh. You know, it's weird. I feel better at 54 than I did at 50. It's probably because I was just being diagnosed with my illness, but and I was not in such great physical shape. But that's not it. I just think that there's something about once you get over the hump and you start rolling, you're good.
But my girlfriend, um, my flight attendant friend, Beth, who's been in a couple of my videos, and she was in my mom's video where she interviewed us for my mom's Q&A. She gave me the cutest card for my birthday. Is that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. The two girls shopping. That's so us. Ethel, we, Ethel and Lucy, that's who we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little I'm um, back in action video and look forward to, I have another video that's coming out for you on Wednesday and I'm going to go out and deliver. My son helps me. We're going to go, I have a hundred Avon brochures this week and we're going to, um, he usually helps me if I'm really nice and I ask them nicely, we're going to go give them out tonight to uh, my neighbors and some of my customers for the next order. So that should be fun. We always get a good laugh out of that. We joke around and have fun. He's such a great kid. He never wants to spend time with his mom. So anytime I can get him to do something with me, I'm all about that. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate you all being here. I look forward to seeing you next time. You can subscribe below or push the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, if there's another topic you want to talk about, I would be glad to... Um, do a video on something that you're interested in and oh I just wanted to say one more thing this is like week oh my gosh week like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. this is like my 21st week too of doing my yoga burn and I have to tell you I am so loving that program so Zobray Cotton I don't it's not a paid commission that I push her I don't get anything for it but her yoga burn you can go to yogaburn.com it really does work and I highly recommend if you don't want to buy the regular Yoga Burn series that you buy the Yoga Burn monthly just to get the, um, it's worth it just to get the meditation videos because they're just so phenomenal. So I hope you're having a great day and this is my little catch up. I'm going back on my diet tomorrow. I must have gained, I lost like almost 20 pounds and I think I've gained like six or seven back. Oh my God, that's so awful. But I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it back in action. All right. Thanks so much for subscribing. I so appreciate each and every one of you and I look forward to sharing my life with you. So thanks. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.